OK, so here we've got a question that involves a circle. Uh, it's on graph paper, so it's likely to be the equation of the circle. And we're looking at the information they tell us. Uh, it's a circle of radius 5. Well, we always remember that the equation of the general circle is the x squared plus the y squared equals r squared. Um, so in this case, because the tell us the radius is 5, r would be 25, as they're explaining here. Uh, we look for key information always in exam questions, the trigger points that tell us uh, what we're doing. So here it says draw. So we're going to draw a suitable straight line on the diagram. So when we look at these two equations, that's the circle. This is the straight line. And we recognize this is a straight line equation because it's equivalent to y equals something to do with x, mx plus c. Um, so to draw y equals 2x plus 1, well, lots of ways of doing it. Um, the quick way when you've got a straight line is, well, the c value always tells us where we cross the y-axis at 0 on x. So this line is going to cross at there, at the point 1. And the gradient tells me that for every 1 you go across the x-axis, you go up 2 on the y-axis. So you look at the scale carefully. So we come across 1 up 2, come across 1, up 2, that gives me 3 points and then I can get my ruler and draw a straight line as accurately as we can through the 3 points and across the whole circle. So, the question says draw a suitable line, done that. Uh, it says find estimates of the solutions to the pair of equations. Well, this is a simultaneous equation of two variables, two equations. So the answers will be where the line crosses the circle. So it's these two intersection points that I need. So I need the coordinates of those two to allow me to get the estimates of the solution. So if I look carefully and read through the scale, then I find the first one is at 1.8 and 4.7 and then I find if I read carefully coming down here it's at negative 2.6 and negative 4.2 if you don't get those perfect um, same answers there, then as long as you show your method and you're close, it is about estimating. So you could have been uh, one, you know, point 0.1 out on each of these, and that would have been an issue in terms of uh, you showed your method, and the exam board to uh, allow a little bit of leeway on one square difference. That's how you could do solving equations with circles and straight lines on graph paper uh, by drawing the circle and draw the straight line, the point of intersections is the solutions to the simultaneous equations. So the answers were those given from the two intersection points.